Hi and welcome to Tech Guy Vlog. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install cPanel on a server. To install cPanel, we need a VPS or a dedicated server. In my case, I currently have a VPS, so I am going to show you how to install cPanel on a VPS or a dedicated server. To install cPanel, we need a server with a dedicated IP address and a CentOS operating system installed. And to connect server from our computer to the server, we need a software called PuTTY. So uh, I have already downloaded PuTTY software. It's freely available from internet. You can download it and you need to connect uh, to your server. Just enter hostname or IP address. So in my case, I am entering the IP address of my server and default port is 22 and connection type is SSH. So I'm just connecting it. Uh, first time it will ask you to uh, enter the key. So just okay, press yes and now it's asking for username and password. Username and password will be provided your, uh, by your web hosting provider. So just connect it with your ID and password which is provided by your web hosting provider. So now my server is connected. Uh, before installing cPanel we need to uh, set the host name of the server. So I want to the set uh, I want to set the host name to server01.creative360.com and when I type host name it shows uh, server01.creative360.com so my host name is already configured now I can install cPanel on my server to install cPanel you can open the link uh, I'm going to add this link uh, in the description of this video so you need the download link so just copy and paste this command to your SSH terminal and now uh, cPanel is downloading now cPanel installation has started uh, it might take from 30 minutes to 2 hours or on depend on the configuration and the speed of your server now cPanel installation is completed and uh, the version we have installed on our server is trial version and you can use it for 15 days after that you need to purchase the license so I normally purchase from buycpanel.com uh, you can purchase via your web host because some web hosts provide a very cheap license uh, as compared to buycpanel so if your web hosting provider providing you a cheap license it would be good otherwise uh, you have an option to buy from buycpanel.com uh, because they provide some uh, other goodies free with cPanel software. So now our uh, cPanel has installed. So let me connect to cPanel server. Now we need to enter the root details. And our installation is completed. You can read this terms of service and then if you agree press i agree and go to step two you need to configure your email address so you will be notified uh, with all the notifications and updates if you want to subscribe to cpanel list you can take this one Hostname is server01.creative360.com and I am going to left everything. It's asking me to enter valid IP address. The IP address is already uh, added, so I'm going to go to step 4. 
uh, you can <coughs> config you can configure uh, name servers over here uh, my default name server ns1.creative360.com ns2.creative360.com and i can enter ip address for each ip so i'm going to use same ip and uh, normally you will get three or four ip addresses with server so you can configure that section with multiple ips So now everything is configured. If you want to enable brute force protection, you can enable that. So now everything is ready. And now I am logging into my server. Here is my WHM. So now everything is configured. Uh, it's showing me that it's a trial license. And license type is VPS as I have installed it on a VPS server. It's also showing me my IP address. So I can purchase the license if I want. Otherwise, uh, after 15 days, it will stop working. So the installation is quite simple and you just need to run one command after setting the host name. Uh, you can do it very easily. Uh, in next few videos, I'm going to show you how to configure cPanel, how to tweak settings and how to host websites. So please subscribe to my channel, like this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please write down in, my, in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video.